deliver his winning speech of the senior oratorical contest on the topic the abuse of power leads to the destruction of a nation every second you breathe a child in africa weeps over the loss of his humble home every second you breathe a victim of war in the middle east bleeds to his unfortunate death every step that you take and every move that you make always remember that people are suffering because of the abuse of power by just a small minority amongst us ladies and gentlemen boys and girls assalamu alaikum and a very good evening to all of you man holds in his hands the power to abolish all forms of human poverty but these are the same evil hands that can simply abolish all forms of human life this power can be in the form of political or national strength power is apparent in every society around the world whether it's your state's premier or simply your class teacher power can be simply compared to a knife in one hand of a doctor a knife can be used in order to perform a medical surgery and save one's life but at the same time the knife in the hands of a robber can be used simply in order to take away one's life two completely opposite actions with the same common device ladies and gentlemen like it or not this is what i call power recently the abuse of power has led to disastrous consequences never thought of before the revolution in the arab world has clearly indicated that the abuse of power has led to innocent bloodshed tears and pain the abuse of official power by the late ukrainian prime minister yulia tymoshenko cost more than 100 million dollars to her country we do not have to bring out examples from ancient times such as adolf hitler in order to demonstrate the consequences of the abuse of power all you have to do is turn on your tv set and you see people crying you see people dying and people yelling in pain this my dear friends is a simple tribute to the abuse of power nowadays many countries suffer from very high levels of poverty and corruption whenever we mention poverty and corruption the media turns to the lower classes of people and they blame them heartlessly what we never thought of was about the leaders who sit in their posh apartments snatching money away from innocent civilians who resort to corruption when they find out that their earnings that their blood tears and pain was in fact a simple donation to an arrogant leader power in the hands of a person is a very valuable asset many great leaders like mahatma gandhi nelson mandela and martin luther king and have clearly shown us that when power is used wisely it is in fact an unstoppable force which can create peace and harmony amongst people however leaders aren't the same nowadays are they they have abused the power given to them by people against their own people they've created war amongst people and nations most of the abusive leaders are able to talk the talk but when they are supposed to walk the walk well it's a whole different story all I can say is that, in the end, their powerless words are in vain. Bombs start dropping into countries like acid rain 
and all you could hear would be the tears, blood, and pain. Thank you. The, the winner of the ALM ha Hashim Shield, I kindly <coughs> request His Excellency, the Ambassador, to give away the award. The best, the orator for, for the ALM Hashim Shield, Amjad Akram. the distribution